Hi everyone, I started a YouTube channel about art. For the last two months I've been filming all the paintings I did and the whole process and I edited them into small video clips where you can learn how to paint with oil paint. In this first movie I'll show you how to paint an apple with oil paint. I hope you'll enjoy watching it. Hi everyone, in this movie I'm going to show you how to paint an apple. First I cover the whole panel with black and a little bit of oil, sometimes poppy oil, sometimes linseed oil. The difference between these two I will explain later on in another movie. But um, when it's all covered I start the sketch mostly with black, just plain oil paint, sometimes with black and a little bit of red or a little bit of brown. La, 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 la. It's always a good thing to uh, very soon in the process search for the darkest parts in the painting and also for the lightest part in the painting. If you have those two it's much easier to find all the middle tones. La la ya la la Ya la ya la 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 Ya la ya la 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 ya la la Now I'm putting in the bite from the apple. Unfortunately, from the perspective where I put the camera, you can't see the bite really well from the real apple. But uh, in the painting, you're going to see how it looked like. Uh, the bite is the lightest part of the apple, and um, as soon as I put that one in, you can really clearly see the differences between um, everything, between the lightest light and the darkest dark. Ya la, ya la, la. La, la. The colors that I use for this painting are crimson red, lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, ivory black and titanium white. I mostly use this kind of colors, it's uh, very easy to mix, uh, mix everything with. And as you can see, now I put in the background with a little bit of white and it blends very easily in the background because I already covered the whole background with paint and a little bit of oil. And this is very important because uh, the background is at least as important as the object itself. Because with the background you can show, uh, for instance, the parts where the object is darker. You can make the background slightly lighter. And the parts where the object is lighter, you can make it slightly darker. La 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 la. These are sable hair brushes. They're uh, very good.
good to make uh, transitions very smooth you can blend colors and tones into each other very nicely and I like to do this for the background like for soft shadows for instance also for skin if you paint portraits don't overuse it though because because then your painting can become boring also La 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 And here I put in the highlights, so just the highlights on the apple itself. In this case there was all already so much paint on the apple that uh, just white alone was enough. sometimes you see jump cuts where um, you miss some parts where I was painting uh, but sometimes it, it's not that interesting so I cut it out or sometimes I also lose some footage I don't really film everything sometimes I do but in this case I lost some footage sometimes I my camera stops or um, I forget to uh, turn on the record button on my camera when I uh, when I paint like there did you see that yeah. 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 
啦啦啦啦，啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。Now the painting is almost done. As you can see very clearly on the top of the apple, I、um, really paint from dark towards light. So、uh, that's a nice way of painting when you use oil paint. You can, if you have the the right colors in there, and then mostly can you use a little bit of white mixed with the colors that you already have. To make it lighter, and、uh, slowly, step by step, you can go lighter and lighter. Now it's very important at the end to know when to stop. Often I say, "Now it's done," and then I can't just help myself continuing on it for a couple of times. But、uh, as you can see, this is the result. It's done.